You know, uh, as we were talking before, uh, perhaps some of the people who are watching now are not familiar with your experience when, as I understand, you were hiding Jewish people in Holland. Yes. And, the, and the Nazis, or the Germans, took you and, and because of this and put you into prison. Yes. And how long were you, were you in the prison? I was uh, uh, 11 months a prisoner. First four months in solitary confinement, alone yeah. in a cell, and then in a concentration camp in uh, Holland, a yeah. German concentration camp, and then in Ravensbrück, a terrible place north of Berlin. And that's where my sister died. She died there. Yes. And in that time, God, God somehow kept you sweet and tender towards him. How did you do it? How did you keep from being just terribly despairing? What, what kept you buoyed up at this time? That's good what you have. What kept you? Who kept me up? Who kept you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell you, I, uh, there are circumstances that you, you cannot uh, do anything. And it was only the Lord who has carried me through. And that is so good that I have experienced that. Mm -hmm. For I had always believed. Now I know from experience that Jesus' light is stronger than the deepest darkness. Praise God. And a child of God cannot go so deep, always deeper on the everlasting earth. It carries you. It matters not how dark it is. No. His light is always yes, greater. Yes, yes. The devil is strong, mm -hmm. but his power is limited. And Jesus' power is unlimited. And you, you've been there, and you know, there was, no, it was his grace always sufficient? There was never a time when his grace was not sufficient for you? N indeed, it was always sufficient, but sometimes I, I lost courage. You did? And yes, and I remember that once I said, when I looked on the stars, I said, Oh, Lord, all the stars are in your guidance, but have you forgotten your child, Corrie ten Boom? Mm -hmm. And then, but I had my Bible with me, and that was such a great joy. Eh? And then in the Bible I read that uh, the hairs of our head are numbered, yes. and God has the whole universe in his hands. That means that God has a telescopic and a microscopic interest in us. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he knew you by name and everything about you, and he yes, loved you, yes, even yes. in the midst of Yes. Did, did you feel at this time that maybe some of the people who were holding you captive may have been under the power of demons? Did you sense a demonic force doing some of these very cruel things? Yes, of course. That were, they were quite in the, in the power of the, uh, the devil. They, they were, and you, you, you yes. knew it. Uh, yes. Why did you think so? What, what showed it? Just their actions in general? Or? Yes, their actions and, their, and what they said. And their, the, they hated uh, God and Jesus. They did? Yes, and the, the Bible was a forbidden book. How and did you get that copy or the copy into the, into the concentration camp? That, that, was, that was an um, a miracle. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we uh, entered, I had a little Bible, but it was a small Bible, but a whole Bible, mm -hmm. Old and New Testament. And I had it hidden under my, uh, under my clothing on my back. Mm -hmm. And I saw that they, they, uh, they, we were, uh, they took away everything what we had hidden. Eh? Mm -hmm. And I was so scared that I said, oh, Lord, send your angels, let they surround me. Yes. But then I thought, yes, but angels are, are spirits, and you can look through a spirit, and the, these people may not see me. So I said, oh, God, uh, let your angels this time not be transparent. God did it. The woman who stood before me was searched, and then my sister who was behind me, and they did not see me. And so I came in the prison with my Bible. They, God just actually blinded them. They couldn't see you. The angels had just... We mustn't be too amazed when God does miracles. What do you think God is calling Christians for today? What, what task has he got for them? There is a tremendous task for us Christians in this time. For never there has been such a sick world. Pray for your, uh, for your uh, leaders. Pray. Oh, there are so many people who pray, who need prayer. And 
that is a war a work that we all have to do and very important work and i know some people say i don't know how to pray yes this man is a prayer warrior and these people there they are prayer warrior warriors but i don't know how to pray and then i always say what is written in romans 8 that the spirit himself will uh, teach us how to pray we have to forgive i was not I, I was not at peace with men. There was hatred in my heart. When guards were cruel for my friends and for Betsy and me, there came such a hatred in my heart. Oh, and then I learned to take the promise of five, uh, Romans 5.5. 5. The love of God is shed abroad into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And I, I learned this prayer. Thank you, Jesus, that you have brought into my heart God's love through the Holy Spirit who has given to me. And thank you, Father, that your love in me is stronger than my hatred. And the hatred went, and I could love my enemies. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And, uh, you know, the, that, uh, f f that film that yeah. is made of uh, the hiding place, mm -hmm. that sh movie shows what it means to go through terrible suffering with Jesus. Praise God. And, and that is the message that we must uh, know now, because many people go through terrible suffering. You think in America we're going to go through suffering? Yes, sir. You think? I believe that. Yes. It is what the Bible tells yes. that we can. But we have nothing to fear. Amen. Because Jesus is victor and he will never let us down. Praise God. But, uh, oh, my times are in God's hands. <laughs>